If I asked you to sketch a cube, what would you do? It's a seemingly simple question. You draw six-ish lines, and then you're done, right? But what were the thoughts running through your heads when I asked you that question? Maybe why? Why is she having me sketch a cube of all things? And what am I going to turn this into? And these are the right kinds of questions to be asking, because they require an innovative mindset. You've already processed the question, and now you're proactively thinking of challenges along the way and coming up with your own solution. We, as students, need to be taught how to do that. Because if you asked that very same question to my freshman class, we would have answered right back with a question. Multi-view or isometric? And that's because we're taught to follow instructions. Maybe the thoughts running through our heads would have been, oh, would you like it labeled? It's because we aren't taught to ask these more in-depth questions. We aren't taught to think of our own solutions which won't necessarily have a predetermined answer. We need to learn that creative mindset. We need to learn how to incorporate artistic design into simple things like sketching a cube, thinking, what are we going to turn this into? And that is STEAM. Science, technology, engineering, artistic design, and mathematics. And I'm in front of you today because I'm a sophomore right now in my science, technology, engineering, and mathematics program at my high school, also known as the STEM program. And we aren't taught to ask ourselves these questions, let alone encouraged to come up with our own solutions. And I want that to change. I believe that STEAM really, really has a lot of potential in teaching students. And it does this in three main ways. First of all, STEAM gets students excited and passionate about learning. And secondly, it encourages the art of communication, the way in which we convey our thoughts and ideas and then translate them, whether through a verbal or a written form. And lastly, STEAM recognizes that the artistic design component, that creativity, it's hands-on learning. That means that you give us these new technologies, concepts, and ideas, and then you give us a real-world problem, and then you let us go. And of course, we will fail. That's part of learning. But it's giving that opportunity, that chance, and see what happens, because everyone has a different perspective, students especially. And for me, it's not that hard to get passionate about learning. I mean, flipping through magazines and discovering that popcorn popping is a precise chemistry is interesting. <laughs> discovering that 96% of popcorn pops at 356 degrees Fahrenheit, I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> what's going on? This is some cool stuff. And I, that interests me. I was asking myself, well, how many years did it take? You know, They were French chemists finding out uh, since when that popcorn popping is actually really specific. And I'm interested by that because I'm an eternal learner. That means that I constantly love gaining new experiences, whether that's through facts and information. That's one of the ways that I love to learn. And I want my fellow peers to have that same open mindset to learning. On to the second point. STEAM encourages the art of communication, because when we were in that Samsung Solve for Tomorrow challenge, you can imagine us, 90 freshman students, doing exactly what I had asked you to do, sketching cubes for the past month. Imagine our elation at being given the free reign, the ability to build and actually do something. So we split into these groups after we had decided to design 21 prototypes, adaptive equipment for our wheelchair-bound peers. So we split up, and the first step was to tell our groups what we wanted to do. So we came in, we were so excited, and we fell short. Because we couldn't communicate our ideas, because we didn't have the knowledge, we didn't have the skills to communicate that verbally, we couldn't say, I want to build an adaptive keyboard that moves along the X and Y axis so that it makes it easier for Hunter and Kenny to type. 
We couldn't communicate that through a verbal form. And then when it came to writing, we had been sketching cubes. We hadn't been drafting prototypes. And throughout this experience, I saw my classmates who were so excited to just have that opportunity to learn and to grow and to build and create. Their excitement diminished. And that was awful, because we had been given this wonderful chance to finally do something that was non-traditional, that we had all wanted for so long. And we couldn't do it, because we didn't know how. And I never want to see that happen ever again. On to the third point. STEAM recognizes that the creative spark of when you have an idea, that's the very first step in the engineering design process. We're taught that the engineering design process is very strict. It's steps one through six. You follow it, boom, 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 finished product. But somehow, it walks around the entire issue of the origin of an idea. Because before you can ever roll a product to market, and before you can ever even start building, you have to tell someone about your idea first. And we have to think of it before then. And that's what I want us to learn as students, because STEAM isn't just a curriculum that gets students excited and passionate about learning, though it excels at that. STEAM is a way to get people thinking and realize the human, the humanity, and all these very technical fields like science, technology, engineering, and math. You don't really think, hey, oh, that's going to be something for people later on. But what STEAM helps us realize is that everything we are building is made by humans, for humans and that eventually we're going to have to think of our end consumer in the very long run. And that means they're our end goal. So when we're building, we're constantly thinking of how the consumer is going to interact with our product or idea. Not only the physical appearance or design of a product, but also the story behind it and how we can relate to that. STEAM is so important for fostering growth in students. And it's the way that I love learning because it recognizes that creativity is human and natural. I need STEAM because I want to continue to learn, inspire, and innovate. And I hope you want it as much as I do. Thank you.